Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the young adult novel Essence and historical fantasy novel I Am Mercy. Today we are going to be talking about how to self-publish on a budget. So when Essence first came out, or right before it came out, I went through the costs that it took to self-publish Essence. And I have that list printed out here and if you guys would like I still have that video up so you can see how much exactly I spent. I spent about $2,634. Um, in that video I break down what it was I spent it on and all that so that will be down below so if you want to watch the original video but today we're going to be talking about how to self publish on a budget because I've gotten a lot of comments on that video saying I spent too much and when I published my second novel, I Am Mercy, it was a very different journey, mostly because I had a lot of things purchased and I didn't have to go through purchasing like the startup stuff that you would for a first novel. Um, but I also was more on a budget because unlike my first novel, I did not have money set to aside to spend. It was more just like, okay, I finished writing this novel, now I need to buy all this crap. When I published Essence, I had to buy things like my WordPress website, the domain for that, the umbrella lights that I use in these videos, and you guys can't see them, but they improve the quality greatly. The dress that's featured on the cover of Essence, along with the tailor that I had to fix the dress, um, the fabric that we had to use for the dress, font rights to use on the cover of the book, structure edits, copy edits for the manuscript, trailer music rights that I had to use when I made the book trailer, purchasing art copies to send out to reviewers, uh, shipping envelopes to ship the books. Then I had shipping to buy books to send them to me so I could do a book signing. Expanded distribution, which meant that it was all, that Essence was also going to be available in Barnes and Noble and libraries and things like that, which is actually no longer a fee you have to pay. It's now free on CreateSpace, so you don't have to pay the extra ten dollars like you used to. So that's a cost that's right out the window. Business cards, a poster for whenever I do events, and then 100 copies of Essence. So that's what I spent when I self-published Essence. Now when I self-published I Am Mercy, I did not keep count of things as much, but I'm going to tell you what you can do to make it go from 2000 something dollars to hopefully under a thousand something dollars. Or maybe even less depending on how much you can like bend rules. So one of the first things you want to buy when you're self-publishing a book is you want to create a website for yourself. Now I created um, a WordPress site and blog, so it works as a blog and a website. I love it. I recommend them 100%. But when you do that, you also have to purchase a domain so you can have your own little web address. Now mine is mandylin.com and if I didn't purchase a domain, I believe it would be like wordpress.mandylin.com. So not as professional. Purchasing website and the domain for your website isn't really something you can avoid, but it's also not a huge cost. When I went about making the cover for I Am Mercy, dress that's featured on the cover of I Am Mercy, I actually made myself. I think I spent about $50 on it in total. and. That was as opposed to a dress that I found on Etsy for about $400 and I said I don't have $400 but the dress is gorgeous so I'm going to see if I can make it myself. And for those who are wondering what the heck I'm talking about, this is the dress on I Am Mercy. It's made with about 10 yards of a very cheap fabric but it took hours and hours to make but I think it was well worth it. You guys may say, oh my god, you spent $50 on a dress for the cover. And yes, but I also only spent $50 because I designed this myself. Now, in terms of the font I used on the cover, I already had it from when I used the font for Essence. So this is actually the same font I used for Essence, so I didn't have to purchase it again because I already own the rights. If you guys want to use a font on your book cover, I suggest if you're on a budget, not using one where you have to purchase the rights. Instead, get a font that's already on your computer and downloaded. Those are ones that you don't have to purchase rights for. So if you have to download a font to put it on your computer, don't do it. That probably will mean you're violating someone's rights because they own it and it's not like free 
domain. To cut costs down a few hundred dollars, you could easily have someone design your book cover for you instead of going to a professional. Uh, this is kind of an iffy pathway because book covers speak a lot when it comes to sales. If you don't have good book covers, sadly you don't get the best sales. With that said, if you have a friend who's really good at graphic design, have them do your book cover. Otherwise, I would say kind of have a professional do it. Now I have experience in graphic design. I designed both my covers for Essence and I Am Mercy and I regret nothing. I feel like they are perfect for the book and it also saved me about $400 to $500 when it comes to hiring a professional. The next one is the biggest chunk we have when it comes to self-publishing and that is editing. Now I go to a professional editor when it comes to publishing my stuff but I don't think I'll be doing that in the future I have a lot more friends that are authors and when it comes to having friends that are authors you can cut down costs a lot by just handing them your manuscript and having them edit it of course when it comes to that you want to take your time a lot more and you want to really go through it because you don't have a professional going through it if you don't have an author friend then you can always go to a college professor or maybe a college student looking to make like a little bit of side money that way you can pay them a lot less and they feel like they're getting experience into whatever field they want to do so if you have a friend in college that wants to be an editor pay them to edit your manuscript you wouldn't have to pay the thousands of dollars that you would with a professional editor now when it comes to advanced reader copies I got really cheap when it came to sending them out for I Am Mercy and I actually didn't send out much at all because sadly when you send out advanced reader copies uh, your advanced readers don't always read the book or at least they don't always read it on time I found with Essence it was kind of a waste of money I was spending probably sometimes 20 bucks a book to send it out to people because sometimes it would be international readers so when it came to I Am Mercy, I said, whoever wants to read an ebook can read an ebook, but I'm not sending out paperbacks because that's too expensive. And I say it worked out pretty good. I don't have as many reviews as I would like, but it's a lot cheaper route than buying a whole bunch of copies to send out to people and then having them maybe not read it. At least when I send out an ebook and they don't read it, I don't lose any money. Anyways, that was my two cents on how to self-publish on a budget. Hopefully it helped you guys. The biggest thing is having a non-professional edit your manuscript because it's a lot cheaper or sometimes even free depending on who you find. But anyways, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any other advice for when it comes to self-publishing really cheap. And be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thank you for watching.